when I did the video about you. There were yeah. people that, and a lot of people mistook that. And um, a lot of people thought that it was like mean, that I treated you very poorly, which I sort of did. I was making fun of you, but I was making fun of you. I felt like I was, I, I don't think I was mean spirited. I think I told you once before, the original draft of that was super dark. It was really dark and really mean. And uh, I tried to approach it in a more humorous light, but the period of your life that I was making fun of, I, I always say when he's treating me like I'm being stupid. And it's like, well, were you? There's a possibility you were, you know? <laughs> like if the joke is that, oh, this MMA guy trounced you, that's what really happened, you know? So I played that up, but it was an affectionate parody in my opinion. And some people assume that if I'm making fun of you, it means that like I've got some problem. Like uh, if, if, if the point of the video is that Aikido doesn't work, and in the video, I'm making fun of Aikido not working. It should you should connect the dots that uh you know. But I defended you a lot in the comments section of that video. There were people like, yeah, that guy he didn't do. I was like, no, 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 <laughs> you misunderstood. He's actually ahead of the game. That's why his parody, your parody that I did of you, didn't even accurately represent who you are anymore. It represented a, a previous version of you. Uh, the parodies that people need to worry about is when I just basically say the same shit that you're saying just in a funny voice and people laugh, but I'm not changing anything about you. That's when you know, like, oh, maybe I'm doing something wrong. If, if he just repeats what I say and people laugh at it. I agree. Uh, I think that's when I was, when it came out, uh, everybody, absolutely everybody, including like my parents were thrilled about it. And because they're like, oh, someone is making in the States a period of you, you should feel special. And they're honestly like, they offended me <laughs> felt that way. <laughs> When Icy Mike does a parody of you, that means you're on. <laughs> exactly. So, so everybody was, and, and, and everybody had a good, honest laugh. And I think the smart people got it the right way. The only part where I was a bit like, because I saw it coming, I was like, damn, people who hate me will use this against me. They'll, and there's some comments where like, hey, they're laughing at you. And somebody's like, no, they're, they're laughing with you. And, but those people, I was like, Fuck you, assholes! You're too stupid yeah. to get it. So that was the only part. I was like, it didn't move between the lines. They didn't realize, you know, yeah. 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 that Otherwise, actually yeah. the Good. subject of that video. You're on my team. You're on my team during that whole. They don't really. They can't connect those dots. They're like, haha, yeah, Rokas is a doofus, you know. And I'm like, no, the 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 Rokas that went in to go try Aikido on an MMA guy, thinking that, oh yeah, I'll do pretty good. That was a doofus thing to think. And I thought the same thing. And there's so many of us that thought that, that we're like, yeah, I know this MMA stuff's pretty tough, but I think I'll be all right. And it's like, oh my God, this guy can put me on the ground anytime he wants to. <laughs> I can do nothing about it. Um, but I put a lot of work. That's actually, out of all the ones I've done, uh, I put maybe maybe the Ryan Hoover, Eli Knight one, I put more work, like actual like production and physical work into. But that one I put the most thought into, and that was that's still to date. That was my most fun to film that one. But I put a lot of thought into that. I'm sure when you watch it, you see little things. There's so many little things that we did in that one. Like I got one of my students uh, for Kai. He's actually from Uzbekistan. And when I was trying to get him to do his lines, I kept having to tell him to be more like this. So I was like, more like bring it down more, bring it down more, because the guy that you did it with was so like low energy. I was like, yeah, maybe. I was like, no, less energy. Forgot, less energy. I think parody. That's that's what parody is about. It's about uh, I, I, that's the English word, uh, hyperbolizing. It's just like, yeah, yeah. just making just things, taking, just turning it way up till it's ridiculous. You know. But how did that come about? Like a short story. Like what's what? Uh, how did that inspiration came for for you? Did you do parodies already before, or was I it done math alone? I did Master Wong and Ramsey Dewey was the first one. Mm. And that was just sort of like, a, I, I'd always done a Master Wong impression just because I thought it's just funny. It's just fun to do. I never thought about doing it in a video. And I hadn't quite gone full on trying to make comedy on my channel at that point. And Master Wong and Ramsey Dewey had their thing, you know, where they like were going back and forth at each other in videos. And I was like, man, I could do a Master Wong. Ramsey Dewey is super easy. And actually, in hindsight, I have a much better Ramsey Dewey now. I've like perfected Ramsey doing now, uh, which hopefully we'll get to see again. But I was like, I could probably do that. And all I was doing was just trying to insert myself into that algorithmic flow and just be, just pop up in some 
searches and maybe bring some people over to my channel and maybe give some people some laughs. And uh, it was so well received and people were like, you know, you need to do more of that. And I was like, who could I do? Who could I do? And uh, you made a video. I want to say you were reacting to a Lenny Sly video. I say you were, you posted a, I'll, I'll tell you exactly what happened. You made a reaction video to that um, Aikido match. There was one particular Aikido match that circulated where a guy hit a beautiful throw in the Aikido match. Um, and you guys did a breakdown on that one. And I was doing a breakdown on that one. I was like, well, fuck, and I scrapped that. And then you did a reaction to Lenny Sly, and I was like, bingo. I can use the content from my reaction to that. You know, uh, I ended up using it in the sequel video. And I just thought maybe you and Lenny Sly were about to go back and forth with some video responses to each other. And again, I was just trying to insinuate myself and be the little disruptor and uh, maybe instigate some shit, and maybe soak up some of those views and maybe win over some viewers. But uh, that was so much fun to do. That's when I realized, hey, I just enjoy doing this. It's funny. So I did a few more. I did Jesse. I did Ryan Hoover, Eli Knight. Um, I did Quan Kicker. Uh, Quan Kicker didn't get the love because he hasn't been as active recently, you know. Um, so it, it didn't pop as much. But I actually think that one was one of my best impressions. My impression of you is ridiculous. People would comment and be like, oh, my God, he nailed it. And I'm like, no, I didn't. It's just funny. If you put a side by side, you'd be like, that's not even close. But because you're watching it and it's funny, it's like, oh my God, he sounds exactly like him. I'm like, no, I don't, I don't sound exactly like him. I think what you got precisely there, or precisely, well, I mean, close enough was uh, the vibe, you know, because I was very much the calm, peaceful, yeah. doesn't matter what happens, I still present, you know, <laughs> express love. And I think that's, that's where people are like, ah, oh, you got it. So. Um, when you do impressions, not that I'm a professional at comedy or impressions, I've just observed, you just have to get little things right and it, for it to click with people. Like when I do you and I say, um, like, like the word, word. I don't, I don't say word, I say word. Like I just push it out the side of my mouth a little bit and it kind of sounds like you. And people are like, oh my God, this sounds exactly like him, you know? Um, but it, they're not that good. My only ones that are good, uh, Quan Kicker, I think, was pretty accurate. And when I did Ryan Hoover, that was easy because he's from the same region that I'm from. So I'm around his accent all the time. And we, and we kind of look alike and sound alike anyway. So 